friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn about the LCM. Do you know what LCM stands for? LCM stands for Least Common Multiple. A common multiple is a number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. For example, the common multiples of 3 and 4 are 12, 24, and so on and so forth. Now, the least common multiple is the smallest common multiple of two or more numbers. In order to find LCMs, it's important that you know your times tables. The link to my video on all the times tables from 2 to 20 and the tricks to memorize them are both in the card over here and in the description down below. Now, let's take an example of how we're going to find the LCM of two numbers. Say, let's try to find the LCM of two and four. Now, the way we're going to do this is step one. We're gonna find the multiples of both of these numbers. So, the multiples of two would be two, four, 6, 8, then 10, 12, then 14, 16, and so on. And then we look at the multiples of 4, and those would be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. Now, step 2 would be find the common multiples the multiples that you see in both tables. So, um, you can see that four is the first one because you can see that two times two is four and that four times one is four. So, as it's written right there, you can see it's in both times tables. Then there's also eight and then there's 12 and then there's 16 and so on and so on and so forth. So. Now, what we have to do is find the least common multiple. So, we're trying to see, we're trying to find the first common multiple that we've written here. And obviously, that is four. So, four is the least common multiple of two and four. Let's take another example, just to get the idea grasped in your mind. Let's take the LCM of three and five. Now, the first step is, obviously, again, to find the multiples of these two numbers, three and five. So, the multiples of three would be three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30, and then so on. And then the multiples of five would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and so on. Now, what we do is we find the common multiples of three and five, given our times tables. So, the first one that I see right here is 15. Obviously, 15 is three times five, and it's also, reverse the order, five times three. And then there's also 30, and so on, and so on, and so on. And now, what, we try, what we're trying to look at is the least common multiple. So, since it's the least common multiple, we find the least or lowest number. That is obviously 15, the smallest number, the smallest common multiple of three and five, which means that the LCM of three and five is 15. So far, we've looked at finding the LCM of two numbers. But what if we wanted to find the LCM of three numbers? Well, in fact, the procedure is nearly the same, just adding another digit in the mix. So, let's say we want to find the LCM of four, six, and eight. All right, so let's see, how are we gonna do this? Well, first, find the multiples of all three of these numbers. So, we're looking for the multiples of four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and so on. Then we're looking for the multiples of six. 
which would be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36, and so on. And then we're looking for the multiples of 8, which would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. So now that we have our multiples, we'll just find the least common multiple in all three of these. And one thing I see is that there is the number 24 in all three of these. Four times six is 24, and reverse that over, six times four is 24, so it's in both of those tables, plus it's eight times three, which is 24 too. So now that we know 24 is a common multiple, we can confirm that it is the least one. There is none that is lesser than 24, which means that the LCM of four, six, and eight is 24. Now, you know how to find the LCMs of any number. Now, it's homework time. Try to find out what is the LCM of six and eight, of four and seven, and of six, eight, and nine. Put your answers down in the comment section below. And if you want to check if you're right, then the answers are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.